I came from a little town called Grenfell, a uh, population of about 2,000 people. I don't think it's grown much since then, but you know, we're all family down there really. Uh, I, I first started playing rugby league actually, and then played a little rugby union on a Friday night, but then once you get to the age of 12, you couldn't play anymore, so uh, soccer was my next big thing, and I got soccer because my brother still played league, and it was right next to where they played, so I used to go to soccer with Nan and Pop, and John used to go to football with Mum, so yeah, that's where I got to. I started off with league, so I kind of knew the roots to it more. I knew the rules a bit better than what I knew for rugby, but uh, last year was big for rugby league. It was the first year that women kind of had um, a pathway for, for Raiders and stuff like that, so that was a big opportunity and, and just to even get a call up for the country rugby league team was a massive honour and to get named in the in the 20 was, was huge, but then I got asked to come along for the sevens and I played sevens and then yeah I kind of got the love back for that game and then yeah did the 15s at the end, beginning of the year and now the sevens again. It was massive, I mean, at the beginning of the year I was ruled out with uh, glandular fever and rhabdomyolysis, so to be able to come back and, and fit into the squad, the girls are lovely and, and again it was my first year of playing rugby 15, so to get named in the pony squad uh, was unbelievable. I think I, I, I talked to my dad and, and dad couldn't believe it, mum and dad couldn't believe it, but yeah, it was, it was a big eye opener and it's just made me want it a little bit more, but uh, I was unsuccessful, which I'm, I'm still chuffed about because I learnt so much. Like I said, I've only been in it for, well this is my first year, so I really want to be around the girls and I got to go into the camp for a little bit, so I really appreciate everything that they, they taught me. To be honest, I, I can't pinpoint which one I would like. Uh, I think, I don't think I'm fast enough for sevens, um, but I'm always willing to learn. Uh, but taking it back to soccer, it only just started kind of getting match payments and stuff when I was first introduced to it so it was never about the money for me but now that I've got to an age where I have to go or oh, do I have to go to like I have to go to work and if I get injured I miss out on work and stuff like that so I think it's a great pathway for the women in sport now regardless of, of which one but yeah I'm just I'm just chuffed to be a part of it and to come from such a small little town and show the girls out there now that they can make a dent in the world so this pick up here by Wood brilliant stuff and then they go further wide. That pass there is wonderful. And quite simply, the run to the line by Darcy Reed beats Davis in the tackle. Wonderful stuff from the Brumbies.